the Russian army has unveiled its new development, a robotic tactical complex named Courier. This ground combat robot is designed to perform a variety of tasks, including reconnaissance, fire support for assault operations, destruction of fortified enemy positions, and covering evacuation groups. The robot is built on a modular platform, enabling it to be equipped with various armaments such as heavy machine guns and electronic warfare systems, as well as tools for cargo delivery or casualty evacuation. The Courier robot weighs 250 kilograms. Its tracked propulsion system ensures high mobility on rough terrain, while its powerful electric motors with a combined output of 6 kilowatts allow it to reach speeds of up to 35 kilometers per hour. The robot can operate autonomously for durations ranging from 12 to 72 hours, depending on the mission, and is controlled remotely by an operator at distances of 3 to 10 kilometers. Chinese engineers have developed the world's first spider robots that can potentially be used as kamikaze drones. Equipped with artificial intelligence, these robots can crawl into bunkers, hideouts and basements while carrying explosives and shrapnel. While little is currently known about the technical specifications of these robotic creations, Chinese military officials warn that encountering such devices on the battlefield will pose a significant challenge for adversaries. Although modern military robotics has primarily advanced in creating effective wheeled and tracked ground drones, the concept of a walking robot long depicted in science fiction books, movies and video games could soon demonstrate significant effectiveness. Amid the rapid evolution of military drone technology, leading armies worldwide are actively experimenting with various innovations in the segment of ground combat drones. Alarming news for America and its allies has been released by Pentagon officials. Chinese military engineers are actively testing an unmanned version of the ZTQ-15 military tank. This development is part of the People's Liberation Army of China's extensive program to create a new generation of autonomous combat vehicles. During trials, prototypes demonstrated high maneuverability and the ability to operate in challenging combat conditions, raising concerns among military analysts worldwide. According to insider reports, the unmanned ZTQ-15 retains the core characteristics of its manned counterpart but incorporates several innovative features, including artificial intelligence. The tank is controlled by an advanced AI system capable of independently analyzing battlefield conditions, selecting targets, and adjusting its navigation route. The vehicle is equipped with modular combat systems, including a 105mm smoothbore cannon, guided missiles, and autonomous reconnaissance drones. It also features multi-layer composite armor with integrated active protection, designed to withstand modern anti-tank weaponry. The ZTQ-15 can operate in a swarm mode with other unmanned systems, including ground vehicles and drones. This capability enables coordinated attacks, optimized reconnaissance, and the creation of tactical advantages on the battlefield. The tank underwent testing in Tibet's mountainous regions and the deserts of Xinjiang. Leaks about the ZTQ-15 have alarmed U.S. and allied military analysts. The Chinese unmanned tank is seen as a significant advancement in the race for autonomous weaponry. However, American engineers are not ready to cede leadership in the development of heavy autonomous weaponry to China. The U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency under its RACER program has developed an experimental autonomous ground platform promising to revolutionize the field of unmanned heavy vehicles. Known as the RHP, this platform boasts several key features. Its autonomy is powered by advanced artificial intelligence systems and sensors, enabling it to analyze its surroundings and make real-time decisions independently. Equipped with powerful engines and an enhanced suspension system, the RHP demonstrates exceptional off-road capability, navigating rugged terrains, including mountainous areas, forests and urban zones with speed and efficiency. The platform's modular design allows the integration of various modules and equipment tailored to specific tasks, such as reconnaissance, cargo transportation, or combat support operations. It is designed for reconnaissance and intelligence gathering in high-risk areas, delivering ammunition, supplies, and other cargo to inaccessible or hazardous locations, and participating in engineering operations such as mine clearance and the construction of temporary structures. German engineers are also actively developing unmanned heavy weapon systems. 
The leading German company Rheinmetall has introduced its contribution to this field, the Autonomous Combat Warrior Wiesel. This autonomous combat vehicle stands out for its lightweight design, maneuverability and efficiency, making it a versatile and reliable tool for a wide range of military tasks. The ACW Weasel operates in three modes, manually, remotely via a tablet and fully autonomously. In autonomous mode, it can follow pre-programmed routes, avoid obstacles and adapt to changing battlefield conditions. It is powered by an 81 kilowatt Volkswagen diesel engine, providing high performance and reliability. Its compact size and lightweight design allow the ACW Weasel to be airlifted for rapid deployment. The primary role of the ACW Weasel is to support soldiers in high-risk situations. It can be used for reconnaissance missions, cargo transport, and fire support. With its autonomous capabilities, this combat vehicle reduces the need for direct human involvement, thereby minimizing risks to military personnel. In the challenging and hazardous task of demining, the Russian army relies on advanced technology. One such innovation is the Uran-6 robotic sapper. This tracked machine is designed for large-scale mine clearance and creating safe paths through minefields. The Uran-6 can neutralize explosive devices of various types, including anti-personnel and anti-tank mines. Its mechanisms are flails, rotors, and bulldozer blades, which destroy explosive objects or safely extract them from the ground. With its powerful capabilities, the robot can move objects weighing up to one ton, fill trenches, and excavate neutralized mines. The Uran-6 weighs approximately six tons, allowing it to withstand mine explosions and remain operational. It operates using remotely controlled systems, ensuring the safety of its operator while maintaining precise control, even under hostile fire. Imagine a robot that serves as a guard, scout, and effective combatant capable of neutralizing tanks and operating autonomously. Meet the Russian military robot named Marker, a versatile robotic platform designed to tackle a wide range of tasks. Its standout feature is its advanced artificial intelligence system. Equipped with technical vision, the robot can analyze its surroundings, identify targets, and autonomously determine optimal movement routes. The robot's versatility is reinforced by its modular design, allowing it to be outfitted with various weaponry, ranging from machine guns to loitering munitions. Additionally, the platform can deploy swarms of kamikaze drones, providing significant tactical advantages. In peacetime, Marker can be employed for guarding facilities, monitoring perimeters, or even acting as a courier to deliver supplies to remote locations. Hyundai Rotom is a leading South Korean company in engineering and defense technologies, and it has unveiled its multi-purpose unmanned ground vehicle. This innovative platform is designed to carry out various military tasks without direct human involvement, significantly enhancing operational safety and efficiency. Hyundai Rotom's UGV features a modular design, allowing rapid adaptation for missions of various types, including reconnaissance, cargo transport, casualty evacuation, and fire support. The vehicle is equipped with advanced artificial intelligence systems and sensors, enabling autonomous navigation across challenging terrain, obstacle detection and avoidance, and task execution without operator intervention. Hyundai Rotom is actively testing the platform, with plans to integrate it into the Republic of Korea's armed forces and offer it to international markets. Beyond military applications, the company is exploring the potential for this technology in civilian fields, such as rescue operations and logistics. Write in the comments what you liked most after watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a like. See you next time.